What's up, Internet? Hey, this is Danny from Homestead DNA, and uh, I'm coming back to you with a video that's an update on what we have so far in our garden at kind of the beginning of June. It's been a little bit since we've done an update. We've just been completely slammed, and you'll see why. We've been doing a lot of work. Start back here. Okay, we haven't done a lot of work out here, but we did put drip in, so we've got drip, at least the main lines in, and we got some watermelon started. We're doing kind of a succession planting, although those need to be pulled back out. And then we're gonna do at least four rows of watermelons here, and then pumpkins next over there. I've been waiting on tiller parts for about two months now, which has been a royal pain because they were supposed to have been here 10 days after I ordered them, but it's just, it's just the way things go. People lie to you. They tell you it's in stock when it's not in stock. And uh, so, whatever. But that slowed me down a little bit on this tilling process because I'm trying to wait for that. And the other bad part is that they keep just leading me on and saying, oh, it's just another three weeks or two weeks. And so I'm like, okay, I can wait. And then they all come in and then I wait. And this has happened three times so far. And I think it's about to be a fourth. But whatever, that's just the way things go when you order stuff from China. Look at this thing. So these are the two garages that we actually uh, lost the tarps to. And what we decided to do is make shade tunnels out of them. So you can see our shade cloth running across the top here. And this is where we're going to put our bell peppers and probably some of, we have some of our sweet peppers in here. It's really meant for bell peppers. But we're going to have some tomatoes in here as well. And the goal of this is to keep the bell peppers from sun scalding because they, we seem to get a lot of that. And it's probably just because we don't, we could probably prevent it by uh, planting the plant sooner and letting it grow leaf structure first before it starts to grow vegetables or, or at least, you know, putting different fertilizer on it. But we don't really want to do that or we try not to do that. Um, we try to just, you know, amend the soil and see what we get, which is probably not a good thing. But either way, this is going to help prevent. It's a 30% uh, blockage, so 70% of the sunlight should get through. and uh, But that should be plenty to prevent sun scald on these guys. It is a little cooler in here, actually. It's kind of nice. Not much, though. Not enough. 30% is not a whole lot. Check this garden out, though. It's starting to look like an actual garden. There's things growing in it. Over here, we've got our squash and zucchini. Last year, we lost all of our squash and zucchini. We couldn't grow any squash and zucchini at all because of disease and pest pressure. I don't really know what happened. We did lose one uh, zucchini over here, but something was wrong, so we moved them, obviously. We moved them, we were planted over there. We went ahead and planted them over here, and they seem to be doing a lot better. We definitely still have uh, squash bugs, and we definitely still have cucumber beetles, which is a problem, but they're not as bad as they were last year, which is good. And, uh, you know, what we've tried to do over here with the squash is actually do this trellising method to keep them off the ground. And I think it's actually helped. Allegedly, it's supposed to help with even squash vine borers because it allows airflow down there and uh, the, the stem actually gets a little bit harder. I don't know whether that's true or not, but it makes it a lot easier for us to pick. It makes it easier for us to trim. So we're gonna do it. We did not do it with our zucchini though, which we got some pretty good zucchini on there. This is actually kind of our first flushing here not, not too great over there it looks like a Japanese beetle flying around there or something it's about that season there's some there's some zucchini um, we have picked a boatload of uh, pickles or not call them pickles but they're just cucumbers off of here um, and uh, so this has been pretty successful we did get some disease down here and that comes from those uh, cucumber beetles spreading disease. But overall, that's pretty good. You know, we're still getting stuff. We're just going to get disease every year. We know it. Um, there's not much we can do about it, but spray or get resistant varieties, which is what we try to do this year. And uh, so hopefully they'll still survive and, and keep giving us more cucumbers. There's definitely a ton of flowers on there. So... As long as we have pollinators, we'll have cucumbers. So, 
potatoes. Look at all these potatoes. Um, we've already pulled some potatoes, some smaller ones, and actually they're pretty pretty big in there on some of the other ones. These first three rows here were uh, volunteers from last year where we didn't really pick, and so there's a ton of them. The problem, of course, with that is they're russets, but they're tiny russets. They're small because there's just so many little plants in there. But that's okay. We knew that going into it. They are starting to die back, as you can see. Um, this doesn't look so so much over here, but there's definitely a few of them starting to die back. So we'll, we already picked some. And we're going to keep picking them and selling them or eating them. This is our row and a half of purple uh, uh, potatoes. And then we have more, uh, I think these are red Pontiacs, then more russets, then two more russets, I believe. I think, yeah, yeah, it looks right. Russet, 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 red Pontiac. Red Pontiac, Red Pontiac. We planted these guys first, and then this was kind of a succession planting. So these guys are, are almost ready, are pretty much ready to be picked. I mean, we could start picking them now. Generally, you're supposed to wait until the plant completely dies back, but we'll start picking some of them now. And honestly, they're pretty fully developed underneath there. They just would get a little bit bigger and maybe put on a little more growth, a couple more tubers maybe. But either way, our potatoes are still looking good over here. I'll just keep walking down this way. We've got some spiny amaranth and carrots here, because spiny amaranth is everywhere around here. Um, we do have a wild tomato there, but we got to come through here and pick up this spiny amaranth out of these carrots here, this carrot row. We've got more growing right here, gosh. I mean, it, this is like two days worth of growth. It's insane absolutely insane how fast these things grow i mean they're they're that big and then they become that so we got to get out here and pick this i was picking some stuff yesterday and pick some more we are we are really trying to keep ahead of the weeds this year and it is crazy how difficult that actually is I mean, you'd have to be out here full time um it's just wild so uh, uh, let's stay over this way for now. We have a lot of our yarrow here and some of the fever few that Amy planted is already picked up. That's great for her cut flowers. These are all get knocked over, but they're still pretty good for cut flowers. Corn. I had to replant this corn because, um, I don't think I told you guys, or actually, no, I didn't. I had a video, but I never posted it. Um, I planted 420 corn plants and 386 of them were picked up by crows within a week. So, yeah. So that's what all this fancy stuff is for. Amy built me a little tower there, a little scarecrow. And uh, so far it's worked pretty good. So this is a decent stand of corn here. Um, this is two varieties, serendipity and... Um, can't remember it the other name oh providence is serendipity and providence almost all of it is providence up to about halfway here in the serendipity serendipity and providence are essentially the same thing providence is just a version of serendipity that's apparently more resistant to certain diseases um so that's about it so went ahead and decided to plant them at the same time because they should be fine no problem at all we got a pool over here. We didn't put it on level ground, so it looks horrible. <laughs> but uh, we just decided to take some of this excess rainwater we had and put it into a pool. We really haven't used it yet. We got to clean it up. But uh, it, it was all green, and then we we chlorinated it and everything. But this is nice for us just to have something to put our feet in. To be honest, when it gets hot out here, because that's the thing. We've been hot out here for years. And it's nice to have just something to put your feet in, if nothing else. I'll go through the rabbits later, but they've got their shade cloths up, and they're, they're happy as can be in there. Okay, over here, this other side is mostly flowers, but there's some other stuff in here. Here's all of our mints and various herbs. Uh, we got some dill here, more feverfew, more yarrow, more uh, eucalyptus. There we have, there's even some some uh, chamomile that uh, volunteered from last year. These are uh, Sweet Williams, I think is what they're called. 
I'm getting pretty good at this flower thing. I still can't tell you everything though. Um, but yeah, this is mostly flowers in here, except for some beans, which I'll show you. Um, but yeah, everything's coming up pretty good. We got sunflowers over here. We try to just succession plant everything so we don't have too much of one thing at any given, excuse me, any given point in time. We are still very small scale, so selling flowers, we don't need, a, you know, rows and rows and rows of flowers. We just need enough for a couple of markets a week. And so we try to succession plant our, our sunflowers, and um, this is some uh, marigolds and zinnias back there. Another row of beans right here. So we basically are like, you know, flowers, beans, flowers, beans. <laughs> um, because we can sell beans. And we just picked these. We picked these the last three nights. We picked um, probably uh, two and a half, uh, five gallon buckets full, probably, you know, 12, 15 gallons. And uh, we still got beans on there. So. Still got some more picking to do. I think we picked it like right here though, so we probably need to pick these uh, And then there's just more flowers and more weeds too. There's some weeds down here, but uh, Her straw flower is doing really well yeah, She's come through and I picked a lot of these yesterday, too little ASMR for you. Didn't expect that from this channel, did you? Um, but yeah, our beans look great. We picked the heck out of them and they're still, like I say, you can just see beans everywhere. And they may reflush too. I don't know if they're actually going to do that or not, but it doesn't really matter because there's some more beans right there that we succession planted that have flowers and babies on them. Baby beans on there. So we'll have a little bit more here and then by the time we're done picking all that stuff, these will be up and ready to go. And then this weekend, we're going to try to plant another row just so we have more in succession. So we'll see. Over here, you can see where I dug up this dirt. So it kind of shows you, we've had a couple of rains, but it shows you the, the state of the, the soil over here. That this is a hay field and this is clay. So you can see that about here is some actual dirt most of it's still clay a lot of this has been knocked off but that's one big solid chunk right there we planted carrots in that i'll put a picture up of our carrots here <laughs> to show you where they they kind of grew through the top layer and then had had trouble surprisingly right we had some more carrots over here too same problem we had to use a broad fork to get them out because they kept breaking off um, we've got more spiny amaranth and more carrots over here and we've got spiny amaranth and beets down there the beets haven't done anything this year I don't expect anything out of the beets our um, snapdragons looking good got a ton of snapdragons and got more coming over here uh, I think they call these gum not gumfrina no gumfrina's that one right there look at me and this is Rudbeckia, or Black Eyed Susans. And I think this is more of, I can't remember even what I called it over there, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, those are our original beets, and they just did nothing, and still have done nothing. We did have another set of radishes here. It's probably too hot for radishes. It's okay. Um, over here we had some broccoli. Our broccoli did not do as good this year as we as it did last year. We actually did plant two successions though. So we have one over here that we've mostly picked. And then we have another one right here that's still growing. Looking pretty good. I think though that it's just getting too hot. And they're going to start bolting. But that looks like a nice, nice head of broccoli there. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But either way we do have some worms for sure. And it's that little guy's fault. But uh, either way, we do have some cabbage over here. It didn't really grow that well either. This guy's pretty good head. That's about the only great head that we've got of cabbage. But we'll see what ends up happening with these other ones. We've never really been good at growing cabbage. There's some red cabbage here too. Again, not great. 
And then we had more cauliflower over here, which we still got some. We sold a few of them. There's definitely still some cauliflower in there. We got some of this purple cauliflower here, which looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah. it's doing good. We have some uh, eggplant here that was barely alive when we put it in the ground. So this has come back massively. Uh, actually, a lot of the stuff we did put in the ground was barely alive when we did it. So we like to stunt our plants first. I don't know why, but we do. And we have two volunteer dahlias right there. Um, let's see. Also, I know I'm jumping all over the place, but there's a bunch of dahlias over there as well. Next is our tomato um, row, I guess. So we've done different row, different tomatoes planted at different times. We're gonna uh, uh, use the uh, use, we're gonna string these guys up here soon. They're just kind of laying over right now, but that's fine. And then these guys, they get, all have one nice tomato on them, but uh, really we just need to pick that off and let it grow. And then uh, we have our uh, pepper rose. This is our main pepper rose. This is mostly bell peppers and sweet peppers. Uh, before we had this uh, tilled up back here, we went ahead and uh, put some out here because we just needed to plant them. And so we've definitely got some on here and there's a lot of different like snacking peppers and stuff like that. So uh, tons of those and they're growing pretty good. These plants are going to get massive. They are just starting. And uh, so you can see we already got some decent sized little bell peppers on here. And uh, snacking peppers, and then there's probably some jalapenos down here at the end. These don't look so great, but you gotta come get, there's spiny amaranth everywhere. It's okay though. And then these guys don't look that good, but we just planted them. They'll pick up and be perfectly fine. Need to water them, it looks like. We have some long cayennes here. More cayennes, more, these are ghost peppers, and we've already got a couple of them on there. there too and uh, what else we got uh, I'm not even sure what these are we got a lot of peppers we just have a lot these are more ghost peppers down here too uh, tons of ghost peppers we just stuck with ghost peppers for our really hot super hots this year um, last year we did a bunch of Trinidad scorpion and stuff and we just didn't do it this year so okra one of our two row okras there will be another succession planting right here um, okra kind of grows all year long but eventually it kind of slows down so we try we're going to try succession planting it a little bit um, let's see some more random flowers and things i think that's it i think that's it as if that's not enough 20 minutes just to walk around this thing. We're not really done. Hang on. Over here, we got some wildflowers that are growing around this old tires here. Uh, so this is our tomato tunnel that we have. And this guy is doing great. Okay. Gotta get in here and water him a little bit, but man, look at that tomato there. It's a good looking tomato. And uh they're, we're loaded with flowers and they're loaded with tomatoes. They're really, really, really starting to get some good tomatoes on here. And uh, we, this is one high tunnel, one of our, what I call medium tunnels, because they're not that big. Uh, but we liked it so much and it was so cheap. They were like 170 bucks on Amazon. We, we did add some wood and stuff to fortify it, but so cheap. And so what we're going to do is we use this one as storage, but we're going to put three of them back to back here we got two of them sitting right there rotting from the rain but as soon as i get my tiller stuff back that's what i'm waiting on i'm going to till all this up right here and then we're going to do three back to back and then three right here so we will have essentially 20 by 60 feet for like probably less than a thousand dollars or around a thousand dollars that's pretty good as far as tunnels go and uh so Got to get that done though. I got to get that uh, tiller running. I might have to till it even with the times as worn down as they are. But uh, 
All right, it's getting hot out here and I'm getting tired. Uh, let's see, also I have a bunch of other stuff to do. Let's look at rabbits. Rabbits over here. Boom. They live in the dream over here on these hot days. Oh, nice. Good job. Good job. Way to knock this out. It's just your food. I'll fix this more later. I'll fix it. Here's our rabbits. So one thing we've done, there's a lot of flies in here, unfortunately, too. Uh, one thing we've done is we have uh, created wings. We realize the sun kind of hits over here a little bit harder than it does on this side. So we wanted to have our grow outs on this side and then our moms and dad on this side as well. And as you can see, Meadow here has a bunch of babies. Bunch of little babies who are thirsty and I need good water. Um, and Bessie here also has a bunch of babies. And Faye has a litter of babies in there too, that you can probably see just stretching out. Hopefully they're still doing good. And our best mama Ash here, she also has a litter of babies. All right, so in front of one of our beautiful mimosa trees that are blooming this time of year, I uh, just want to say thanks you thanks to you guys for stopping by, and I appreciate you, you know, watching this video. And if you like this kind of stuff, like and subscribe. We don't post videos very much, but when we do, hopefully there's uh, a big difference. And uh, if you guys have any questions, let us know. Love you guys.